who, sh who shot dead a teenage burglar has been speaking for the first time since he returned home after serving three years in prison. He wants to fight for a change in the law so that homeowners have more rights to protect their property. Our correspondent Peter Lane reports from Bleak House. Come and get it, come and get it. Back where he wants to be, in the Norfolk countryside, Tony Martin is trying to pick up his life where he left it before the events of August 1999. He told me he's abandoned plans to write a book and travel overseas, but will campaign for changes in the law. If anybody wants any support of my own experience, then I'm only too happy to do that. And people shouldn't live in their fear in, in, in a country like this, shouldn't live in fear in the home. Jailed for killing burglar Fred Barris, Tony Martin now believes that prison sentences aren't long enough. They'd be much better if there was a deterrent so they don't commit crime because basically I keep hearing that prison doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't change a man. But what does work is while they're locked up, they're no problem. It's as simple as that. Are you someone you think did the right thing? Well, nobody's got the right to kill, but I'll tell you what, you shouldn't have to live in fear in your home and you should have the right to protect yourself. There's been a certain amount of criticism. People say I'm eccentric, old bull and everything else. I'm a free spirit and there's plenty of free spirits in this country. And it's a good job there is. The mobile police station that stood here for the past few weeks has now been removed and Tony Martin is on his own again. But he told me that despite the memories of what happened here and the threats made against him, he's determined that this should remain his home. He wants normality but knows the spotlight he's living under will never leave him. Peter Lane, BBC News, Norfolk. Painkillers such as aspirin and ibuprofen... ...jail for killing a burglar has given his first television interview since returning to his Fenland home. He's told Luke East he wants to get back to farming and hopes something good will come out of bad. Stuart White began by asking him the question everybody wants to know. Are you going to move back into Bleak House or, or not? Is that... I, indeed, I am. But at the moment, I've got far too many other important things to do and um, so I'm living like the SAS outside. I've got a hole in the ground, I'm bunkered in, and they'll say, there you are, he's paranoid. <laughs> you keep yeah. coming back to that. You... Oh, I heard, you know, you hear so many different things. I mean, I, I really don't know. It's, um, everybody's got their own views. What's, what's your view of yourself? I don't know. I think, personally, let other people make up their mind. How do you see yourself now? I mean, to some people, you're something of a hero. To other people, you're a convicted killer. What do you, how do you mm, see yourself? I don't think there's many people think I'm a convicted killer. The only ones... Well, in the, the eyes of the The only you ones, are. I'll tell you what, this is... Um, some people think that's a bit extreme, Tony, but as far as I'm concerned, those that think I'm a convicted killer, they're the nonces of society. That's a word I'd never heard of before, but I picked up in prison. And somebody said, well, you don't understand that word, Tony. And I said, well, I do. I don't actually mean it in the true sense, but I know if, if somebody, if you don't like somebody, if you call them that, whether you mean it or not, it, um, they've got two choices, either put up with it or, you know, sort me out. I've heard people ask you whether you were sorry, and you say that sorry is not in your vocabulary, but do you regret what happened? I can't re regret the, the actions of other people. Um, when I say... It doesn't come in my vocabulary, sorry. I don't really know anybody out there, unless they'd like to come forward, say that I've done something that I should be sorry about. I mean, I can sort of um, trip over my dog and feel sorry. You might walk by and out, open the door for somebody and say sorry, but you can't be sorry for what happened there that night, uh, unless it's something I don't understand. And you can see more of that interview with Tony Martin on Look East tonight, 6.30.